All right, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change your spark plug on your Yamaha Vino 125cc. So first you're gonna need a spark plug. The one they recommend, it's part number 4578. It's a CR70. This is directly from the owner's manual. I got it at my local scooter shop for about $7. In my case, this spark plug comes pre-gapped, but just in case it doesn't, you could always get a gapping tool and the tolerance is 0.7 to 0.8 millimeters. And when using a gapping tool, I thought the tolerance was off when I measured it first. I double checked it, but then I realized this gapping tool is in inches, so do be aware of that. So to start, make sure your big kickstand is down, that way the scooter is level and it's not gonna tip over on you. Next, go ahead and peel this up. You can peel it up from anywhere. Probably just start at the corner. There's these little tabs. Just rip that out just like that. Next, grab your Phillips screwdriver and remove these two screws. And if it helps, remove the two Phillips screws from the battery cover. Go ahead and pull that off like so. Just has one latch right here. To remove this, go ahead, just start at the bottom. Just pull up and outward on it. All right, then with that removed, we wanna go ahead and remove the spark plug coil just by pulling on it right here. Now that we have access to the spark plug, you wanna take a half inch socket or a spark plug socket, go ahead and remove that. And if your engine is hot, be aware of that. You don't wanna burn yourself. And one thing that helps, obviously there's not a lot of room, is go ahead and put the socket on the spark plug and then connect your ratchet. All right, then after loosening it for a bit, it should just come right out. And then you do not need anises. The reason is with this exact spark plug, NGK, um, there's a special coating on the threads that acts as an anises. So if you add anises, um, you could over tighten it when torquing it down to the proper torque spec. This outer coating on the threads is going to automatically kind of peel off and break off and act as anises. And then to thread it back in, always start it by hand so you don't cross thread it. And be careful, don't do what I did. Um, when I was going to thread it into the hole, I accidentally dropped it into this casing. So now I need to go get a tool to get that out before it goes in any deeper. What I got here is a little magnet tool to help us fish it out. If you don't have a magnet tool, you could maybe use a magnet or one of those ones with little claws on the end, like a claw machine. So go ahead and thread it in by hand. Once it bottoms out, that's when I'm gonna use the torque wrench and go down to 12.5 Newton meters. Now that it's bottomed out and I can't twist it any tighter with my hand, Gonna grab our torque wrench, set it then to properly. Remove this, and go, then ahead, go ahead and start and at the bottom. Just pull up and outward on it. All right, now with that torque down to the 12.5 Newton meters, let's go ahead and reinstall the wire. Go ahead and reinstall your battery panel. Lock this side in first. Then put your floor mat back on. Curved side goes towards the front. 